Hello, this is Kai and Antti from Frozen Byte. We're here with a new Trine 4 demo. Today we are going to show you parts of three new levels and some really cool new gameplay. First, we're exploring a level called Goldleaf Garden. This is a level inspired very much by the Finnish nature and autumn, uh, with a fairy tale take on that with a lot of warm colors. And first up here, we have some sort of puzzle. We're gonna shoot these roots and make this water flow downwards onto this plant, and that in return will make these beautiful giant flowers grow magically. Ooh, maybe we'll find and grow some giant potatoes next! It looks like we have something similar here with the dry ground and plants. We need to somehow make that grow as well. So let's conjure a box, uh, tie a rope to that which we can walk on, and then finally we need to redirect that water flow. Maybe we'll use the shield to do that. Look at those beautiful flowers. Yeah, nice. Right, let's tumble these boxes, gather these valuable experience points. Some platforming here, avoiding those spikes, and by charging we can uh, jump further. Let's break these boxes. I think we might have some secret room behind them. Alright, let's break these roots, check it out. And here we've got a beaming light shining on us. We'll use that to shine on the plant as plants do need both water and light to grow. Here it looks like our way forward is blocked by those huge boulders. But we have a white flower on the right uh, and the light beam coming from the left. So uh, maybe we need to uh, direct the light there. Uh, let's try to move these boxes out of the way first. Uh, Maybe we can conjure them, levitate them up there, yes. And then we can use the shield of Pontius. I gotta tell you, those are some powerful flowers moving all those boulders. <laughs> oh, as we've got a fight on our hands, let's charge these enemies, avoid those charging attacks. So we've got some angry nightmare badgers that are uh, that have these charge moves which we absolutely need to avoid. There's also caster enemies, these satyrs up there that are shooting these explosive bombs, which we also need to avoid. Uh, they are very dangerous. And uh, let's shoot, uh, shoot them with some arrows. And the last one. And Pontius. Nearly gets the job done. Nearly gets the job done, but now finally finish this job. Monster badgers! Someone certainly has strange dreams. Oh, strangers, please help me. Nightmarish creatures have taken over my garden and are destroying everything. If you could recover the seeds from my most beloved flowers, I could grow them again. I don't see why not. We'll probably run into them in any case as we look for our missing prince. Oh, thank you. So here we met the hedgehog who's also been troubled a little bit by the nightmare. So we're gonna help him out with a bit of garden work uh, by finding his lost flower seeds. Uh, a lot of times in Trine 4 we meet these friendly creatures and we help them out in one way or the other. Here again, there is a, a dry plant on the right, which uh, needs some water. Let's secure first the water flow by freezing the handle of the well, and then we can use the shield and that's it. Yeah, nice. It looks like there is a, some kind of storage room. It probably belongs to the hedgehog. Let's gather these experience points, which we can later on use for unlockable, uh, upgradable abilities for the heroes. And another fight breaks up. We are gonna smash this first guy with uh, the sword. Uh, let's switch to Amadeus, use the box stomp on this guy. Oh, that was a nice move. And again, these dangerous badgers, let's shoot them with some arrows. Let's try to avoid the charging attacks, because those are very fatal. I'm gonna charge him myself. Oh, almost hit him. This one did. And oh, well, we, we luckily <laughs> we uh, finished uh, the last badger at the same time as we died, so we kind of won the fight and respawned at the same lucky moment. And here we just unlock the Dream Shield of Pontius. Uh, he can make a replica of his shield 
and that comes very handy as you can see you can uh, reflect the water or light in different angles yeah. let's reflect this light beam to the right here with the dream shield and then redirect it again with our own shield to make this flower grow on the roof here and again these powerful flowers move these giant boulders Spikes to avoid. And here I think you, you should switch to Pontius and destroy those boxes. Yeah, might work better, yeah. And here I think we could use some good old box magic. Oops. That's a little bit high up. Uh, maybe you can charge there with Pontius. Nice. Here we have again a white flower on the right, a light beam from the left, uh, but we cannot uh, uh, direct the light just like that. So maybe we can use the dream shield. And now. And that works great. Good job. Let's break these roots, create a bridge for ourselves. And an another dangerous fight, avoid those badgers, charge them. And here we can use the dream shield to, to block enemy attacks, so you can kind of leap that in the air and it will reflect all enemy projectiles back. And uh, it's a good way of shielding yourself. And Pontius, champion of fighting, gets the battle finished. And I think we just found the missing flower seeds. Yeah, the first of the three. Yeah. Next up, we're going to play the game in co-op mode. We're going to explore a level called Blueberry Dale. Uh, this is also inspired by the Finnish nature, but instead of uh, autumn, this is a, a summery level, which is why there is so much rain. <laughs> but uh, look at the size of those blueberries. They are just huge. There's a lot of blueberries in the mm -hmm. background. There's also some cool bear statues that I think are some kind of hint that we might be meeting some animals in this level. And a forest spirit of some sort is speaking to us. Maybe they are observing our quest. Here, let me create some counterweight. Yeah, I'll attach this rope to the ball. I think that will keep the door up. Yeah. And another fight. We we'll shoot some arrows with Zoya. We use the new dodge roll ability, which allows you to avoid attacks by rolling in combat. And I'm gonna levitate these uh, hedgehogs in the air and you uh, deal with them with your sword. I'll freeze them as well. And the last one. Aren't we being far too trustworthy with these spirits in the woods? They seem to have something up their sleeves. And well, I wouldn't have the slightest clue what to do with the prince even if we found it. Neither did the wizards. And their solution was to lock him in the Astral Academy dungeons. They probably meant well, but it turned out to be a big mistake. And at this point in the game, we've learned a new ability with Zoya. It's called the Fairy Rope. Uh, it works like this. You can levitate objects up and down with it. And uh, it comes in very handy in a lot of puzzles. For example, this log here, we can move that up and then you can collect these experience points. It's a little bit similar to Amadeus's levitation, but the uses are slightly different, as you'll see soon. Let me stomp this one. Let's go explore this cave. And I think I see a bear here. Oh, uh, should we help the poor fellow? Yeah, let me remove these thorns from his paw. And he's a nice little bear. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like the the blueberry bear, and he's helping us out. Super cute. Oh, oh, it's it's fight. Let's deal with them. The bear is obviously scared. I'm gonna use the fairy rope to move this wolf up in the air, and you deal with him. At the same time, let me take this guy down. Uh, nice, nice stomp, man. Okay, I can create an iron ball to turn that platform down. And then some stomping. And we have a log on the right with some spikes on the bottom. I'll use the fairy rope to tie that to this hook, keep it up there. I'll put a box here on the spikes and then with the grappling hook, I think I'm gonna be able to jump, make this jump. And I think mm -hmm. you can do the same with the charge. Nice. 
There's also a platform on the right. We can use the ferry rope once again, tie it to this hook, keep it up there. For this log, I think we can combine our abilities. Mm -hmm. uh, let me, if you make a box, we can tie this rope there you to go. it. And that keeps it steady, allows us to move upwards. Amadeus can blink. We just saw it quickly teleporting uh, forward. Oh, it's uh, it's the bear again, swimming this time. Let me swim with the bear. Let me swim with the bear. <laughs> Come here. We we need to get uh, up from here. All right, all right. Uh, let's make an ice raft with the ice arrows shooting in the water. And if you make a box, I think we can do something with the ropes here. Yeah, let looks me, promising. Let me try this out. Oh, that was the wrong target. I need to combine it with the, from the hook to this box. Yeah, that's better. And. Let's make this kind of zigzag bridge system here. Oh, watch out for this pit. And uh, watch out for those green poisonous mushrooms on the right. Uh, let's see if we can create some sort of contraption here with the iron ball and the rope. That keeps that thing down there. And if I tie this to the hook. Yeah, that works perfectly. What's our reason for helping this prince again? We're heroes. Heroes help people. Surely you wouldn't want to be left to your own devices if you were cursed and all alone in the world? So here we're seeing a key uh, on the top right and uh, a door that's blocking our path with the red keyhole. So somehow we need to uh, get that key from up there and onto the door. So I'm going to use the ferry rope to move this log up in the air, combined with box, tied to this hook, and then you can levitate the key there. Yeah, and I, I could move the key all the way to the keyhole, but let's try something. Let's, okay, okay, I know what you mean. Yeah, one more time. Yes, yes. nice. <laughs> all right, so we, we like to do these little tricks. It didn't pan out the first time, but uh, third time's the charm and we get the key charged onto the door. Yeah. And hey, look, it's the bear again. Yeah, he's eating his blueberries. Oh, another fight's breaking out. I'm gonna try something new with Amadeus. I'm gonna try the box throw. It's uh, the horizontal throw. Let's see if I can do it. No, sadly, the explosive destroyed my box, so I'm gonna switch over to Zoya using a little blink there. And here I'm using the ferry rope to hold this wolf in place. Good stomp. Another time, teamwork. And let's switch to Amadeus. I'm gonna levitate these enemies to the left. You can deal with them, block those explosives. Watch out. Oh. And one more. And one final guy left. I'm gonna switch to ice arrows and boom. It's the last one. Yes. Shall we go to greet the bear? Let's go take a look at the bear. You see him so uh, yeah. happy in the <laughs> forest, eating his blueberries. This level is called the Gossamer Grove, and we're here to find some help on our quest to find and deal with the, the missing Nightmare Prince. There's a lot of bloom and glow on this very beautiful level. And it's this kind of very traditional trine look with a lot of colors. All right, I'm gonna levitate this plank over here. You go get those experience points. Heroes, come find me in the highest treetops. The treetops? Why the treetops? Perhaps you could. All right, so the spirit Moonshine is calling us to find her, so we gotta uh, climb up to the treetops to reach her. Maybe with the help of these air flows, a couple of boxes, a rope. Yes. Here we're seeing another one of those dried plants on the right. Uh, so we'll try to redirect the water with, with the use of the plank and some teamwork. Uh, you use the shield again uh, to redirect the water and the plants will grow. This level is, is one of my favorites, although I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> Um, I'm going to create a rope bridge here for us. Let's wake up that flower. Oh, and it's even got experience in it. Mm. I really like these airflows, they're so cool. Air flowers. Mm. And this is a puzzle with some moving elements. Um, let's try to freeze this platform in the right place. The freezing arrows. And then I'm going to conjure a box. Add a little bit of rope, and there we go. Another fight's breaking out. I'm gonna shoot some ice arrows. Well, you're using the stomp there. Uh, oh, 
nice protection. Sorry for being on the way. It's all good. Okay, several airflows to cross. Maybe, maybe with the boxes. One there. And some ropes. Let me pull this branch. These airflows look kind of close. I think we can just scoot over, yeah. And there's another dry plant here. And maybe redirect the water from the left behind those airflows with a couple of planks. I think that'll reach the plant. Yeah. It's not a flower this time, it was some kind of roots that grew away. Uh, but I'm happy with that as we can now progress. I think I'm seeing a crystal wall and maybe there is a secret room behind it. Guy, are you thinking the same? I think I am. All right, let's charge. Yes. Uh, there is another yellow flower on the right, which needs some water. I'm going to create a plank for you here on the left. You can stand on top of that. And let's do some combined abilities again. Yeah, with the shield. And up we go again. Up to the treetops. Oh, battle time. All right. I'm going to use Zoya's... Uh, dodge roll here to dodge these moving hedgehogs and the bombs, some ice arrows, and I'll, let me switch to Amadeus, levitate this guy down here to his own bombs. And um, you can even uh, block and uh, carry those bombs with the shield. A final touch. And this here looks very much like a puzzling operation that we need to perform to get up to the, the door on the right, on the top. Um, I'm going to use the fairy rope, um, I have a plan here. I'm going to use another rope. We're kind of replicating the, the zigzag rope thing that we did in the earlier level, except with the fairy rope variation. Hmm, cool thinking, yes. And that was it for our Try and For demo. Uh, we hope you enjoyed watching this and uh, stay tuned for more.